Um, I think we'll move along then. If that's okay. We'll have some public comment a little later in the meeting. Right now, we'll stop the discussion and we'll pick it back up again in, on our June 4th meeting. All right. We did the minutes, we did the claims. Amy, would you like to talk about the county vision plan, or did we table that? I'm uh, sorry, what did we do? I found it. You found, found it? it? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, Aaron Martin came out a couple weeks ago, talked to several employees that were interested in the vision plan. This vision plan, we have to have 50 or more employees to get the discounted rate. Um, we had that amount to come to the meeting. She went back to the drawing board and, and came up with a, a plan with BSP that suited what the R employee wanted. Um, it did go up a little bit in price. Um, it would be nine eighty four for a single person a month. Um, but so did the the things we get. Yes, it, you get more. I mean, it was yeah, things. yeah, it was yeah, it was. A, this, I guess remember the last one I read was a really good one. Like the no line boom bolts and bifocals, that's going to be included. Um, I know there was tons of people that were interested in that. Um, every other year, or once a year, you can either get contacts or glasses. Um, we do, did end up with a $10 copay, which went up from previous, which is I think maybe five. It, we could start it as soon as August 1st. Um, I would imagine we don't do an open enrollment in June if we're interested. Um, for you and a dependent, it's $16.57 a month. That's for months, not for pay. Right, they'll break it down. I mean, well, I just want to be yes. sure. So so to get the total price, you take six, 16 times 12. It's about $200 a year. And you still have to cope with it. Right. So that's another 120. If you go every month? If you would, yeah. So you go half a month, that's 60. If you would ask to, I mean. And I don't have glasses, so I'm not sure if that's $60. Once a year at the most. Okay. Um, so we need that. This is on a volunteer basis with no minimum Correct. of employees that have to participate. It has so to be at least 50. No, we have to have 50. 50. We have to have 50, but we had we had more interest than 50. We I didn't think we would. I thought we'd be surprised. I, I'd be surprised if we had 10, but we had a big turnout. So. And they said if they if we get 48, they wouldn't work with us. Yeah. I mean, if it's that close. And this is no cost to the county at all. Correct. No. Pay your own. Would have to be set up with Vicky and her computer. I, I appreciate you look at that because I, I just think it's something I missed I missed tremendously really so um, those of us and I'm sure they'll pay those of us that are diagnosed with diabetes we part of part of that fee comes out of our medical because we have to have a we have to have an exam once a year so Part of that, if you're if you're a diabetic, part of part of your uh, vision will come out of medical because you have to have a check every year. So. so, what else do you have for us? Do you want to just? Sit oh, on I'm that sorry. Uh, is it generally agreed? We're going to let it, we're going to try it. I would so move we give it, offer it to our people to see we, for sure. We those rates to see if we get fit. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's a motion. I'll second. And discussion? 
All in favor, raise your right hand. Uh, back when we started the printing company, Advanced Imaging Solutions, um, we discussed having a print policy. Uh, it's just a recommendation. We don't have to go with it. And I went ahead and did a, just a rough draft of a print policy. And I discussed it with George and he reviewed it. Um, it's just so people will, will manage their printing better or save us money um, saying you know if you have a document that's two-sided please print on two sides you know use one piece of paper um, just make an effort uh, not to print something just to look at it um, not to be wasteful try to avoid printing email messages um, you guys want to review it Take this up, or you find one somewhere. Oh, a little bit of both. This is good. <laughs> a good job. So all the email jokes I get in color, then I shouldn't probably yeah. print those off. Yeah. <laughs> Can't really write you off. But. <laughs> I like this. I like this. Is this something you want to act on the day, or do you want to table it and act on it in June? I haven't had a chance to read it, but. If I needed a copy made, could I pay for it? A personal copy or something? Yeah. Say I have a copy of my birth certificate. Mm -hmm. Sure. I said I need this to get a whatever it might be. Whatever You're the boss. Says. No, no, I don't mean that. Say, well, well, let's, let's get on it. it. I, want a, I want a map of the county in a particular area. Say the town of Southwell, because I got something I want to do down there. Okay. I need to find a street. I go up to Dan Weagle. It's for my use. What I'm saying is, could I pay him what the fee is and get it and record that I did pay for it? That's what I'm saying. Is that in here where I can, yes. or do I need to go down to Highness and do it? It's not in there. Oh. Well, I don't know. Is that a problem, or is that anything you thought about, or can think about? We charge ten cents a copy in our office and twenty-five for a colored now. Person. Anybody at the counter that asks for something that wants copies out of our office. What are the other offices? That that's pretty much the whole office. The only one that's higher so is in the corner. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. So, what do you think about adding that to this, though? I mean, do we have that in the policy form anywhere? Oh, then I think we should add that into this policy. Well, you could put all personal copies would, would, could be made, but you have, won't have to pay the fee or something. Well, even, yeah, and it, but she's also talking about uh, a, a taxpayer walks in, right, mm -hmm. and wants a copy. So all copies made for personal use will be 10 cent black and white, 25 cent. That would cover the public, it'd cover us, it'd cover everybody. Okay, can you deal with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, we will just bring it back in in June. One okay. question I've got on that is, yeah. is when you're talking about uh, Dan's plotter, though, you're talking about two, three dollars a piece at least on those. Uh, I, I, and I think I, he okay. has a rate up there. Does he? Okay, I think we're she talking has. eight and a half by 11 pieces okay. of paper here. Okay. You're right, you're right, we're done. but I think that's what we're, what if we need this copy of my death certificate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've dealt with too many Not deaths my death certificate. No. Yeah, you Different. would need a copy of your death certificate. <laughs> I'm a commissioner. Why not? <laughs> okay. All right. So let's let's change this to say the eight and a half by eleven copy is ten or twenty five. Do you have many that want eleven by fourteen legal size? So we don't have to deal with that. And then Dan has his own fees, right? His own fees. All right. Okay. You'll make those changes and bring it back to him. Okay. Now, Larry, I've died since you left. <laughs> I'll revive you. Hold on. Would that change? Yeah. With the change. If you make a motion. I make a motion that we uh, approve the uh, print policy with the changes uh, 10 cents for black and white, 25%. Okay. Or color. Yeah, a motion and a second. Discussion? 
Hearing none, all in favor raise your right hand. All those same sign. Thank you. Okay, um, last meeting, you guys tabled the art festival because you weren't sure about the fresh Correct. farmer's market. Correct. I um, talked with Jeff Walker and he said that every year he always talks with Chris Lilly. He's in charge of the fresh, fresh farmer's market. market. Farmer's market. Mm -hmm. And uh, he works with them together to coordinate all that information. So. Okay. It wouldn't be slapping the farmer's market in the face then? No. Okay. Is that pretty much your question, Don? So moved. Yeah, so okay. moved. We approve it. Yeah. Second. Motion is second. All in favor, raise your right hand. Okay, the last thing I have is Columbia City Elks Lodge um, would like to do a flag day service from 12 to 1 on Saturday, June 16th on the north side of the courthouse something they do every year. So Motion. Motion is second. All in favor raise your right hand. All opposed same sign. except that I want to tell you that Whitley County got the A-plus rating from Standard and Poor's um, for um, refinance on the bond, so that should be good for our interest rate. And make you aware, um, budgets will start out to the departments next week. We'll get the new forms out to them. Um, I'll take my level two budget class this Friday via webinar. And then I'll print the forms out and get them out to the department heads to start on those. And they'll have to be returned then um, by June 1st to stay on schedule to the council. June so. 1st. Mm -hmm. Do you only have a week then? Uh, July 1st. June okay. 30th. Okay. The month of Thank June, you. the department heads do their budgets. Did you want them to come to you? For any reason or any requests, if it's something to do with the expense of QCAP or CDIC, any big expense. Remember, we did the voting machines last year instead of putting them in um, a budget or just let the council go ahead. The CDIC was the only thing I had that you're in charge of the two year CDIC plan as a commissioner. The rest of it is the council's responsibility. Uh, one thing I would ask, Mr. Chairman, um, <clears throat> right now, all of the uh, office supplies come out of the commissioner's budget, and I would ask that that goes. Uh, if you would ask the council to change that to each individual department has their own office supply budget. We're, we would get such a much better view of of office supplies if we if we had that. We really would. Don't you think, Tom? Instead of one big lump sum. Okay. So the 2000 supplies you want to look at GovPro maybe mid year and see what each department and then have them forecast into 2013 what they're going to have for expenses. Do you feel that the, that the department heads will really struggle coming up with the number? I wouldn't for my office, but we don't use Because what that much. says is they don't know. I'm, I'm, right. not, I'm not bashing on just saying that means they don't know what they're, and I think they should know how much they're spending in, in office supplies. Are we still going to buy the bulk paper for you guys? How is that paying now? I, I don't think it's been. It hasn't been any problem at all. I'm going to see boxes sitting down here when we get ours and they put a community corrections, puts it away. No one has said it. And Jen knows how much everybody they, gets. It could just could be billed to I each individual each department. department. That, that really would make the most amount of sense to me. Yep. Yep. Okay. Cool. Get us, if we could, a copy of the commissioner's 
Oh yeah. Well, we'll all need. Oh, we'll all three need to sit down. And, yeah, yeah, because I'm starting to get these requests in. Like woodlands and lakes wants right, to yeah. up theirs from we'll 135. Stanley's here for any questions, but I mean, it's it's. I ha I had it to bring yeah. up later, so. All they normally for the last two or three years they've asked for one hundred and thirty five dollars, and now they've upped it to four hundred dollars for twenty thirteen. So three times what they were asking for, but they gave reasons why. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and you have everything that I have. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It comes down to simply trying to to go on and exist. Uh, the, in effect, what happened was the loss of all that federal funding, and because that disappeared, we're now really searching for ways to go on and exist. I think this is your watermark year, probably, or this is the year you're going to know whether you're going to stay in business or not. Yeah. Stay in business, so. Yeah. Stanley, do you think that we can, do we get benefits, does Whitley County get benefits from the money that we do spend? I guess that would be my question. Is the cost worth, do we get enough benefits to, to pay for this? And all that, that's stuff. an extremely legitimate question. The problem with it is it's hard for me to answer no longer than I've been there. Yeah. Yeah. And what I would like to do for you, and I will do it, is to go as far back in in um, minutes and things that they can get me, and I'll see where it looks like we've come out. Um, my impression, my impression is that that that's a pretty easy amount to say yes, you get benefit for. Because there are three, th three thrusts that they have followed in the past and one they're working on hard now. The three have been to try to do preservations of, of things that we would like to keep around that would be tourism kind of things or whatever. That's one thrust it seems that I see in what they've done. Another one that it appears that they're interested in trying to take on is literally an education process where they like to be at the fairs and educate, uh, you know, put up um, things to educate about use of natural resources and, uh, and the uh, uh, impact of proper use of those things. And then the third, and, and one of the strongest thrusts that they're working on, is the idea of these um, land use trusts that they that would preserve agricultural ground. Uh, it, it's hard to it's hard to ever decide what the value of education is. And I, and I say that knowing that one of your membership is, you know, had a lifetime in education and I have spent time in education too. It's hard to ever put a price on that, but you would say anything that makes someone better can't, can't go for nothing. And, and so I think in, the, in a kind of a gut level thought <coughs> process, I would say that you probably get $400 or what the past was, I had 130 something or whatever it was, value out of it, but it's not gonna be tangible. I mean, it's not gonna be something to put a finger on. But I will keep the promise I just made and I'll go back in minutes too and see other things, what I can find and I'll get you better information. We'll bring it up at our June 4th meeting then, if you yeah. can have some kind of report. Yeah, I'll so. try to get you better info on that. Yeah, okay, okay, thank you very much. Thank you for bringing it up. Do you have anything else? Thank you.